We all agree on the need to better secure the border and to punish employers who choose to hire illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, we are a generous and welcoming people here in the United States, but those who enter the country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law, uh, and they are showing disregard for those who are following the laws. Is that illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. Until the American people are convinced that we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we will make no progress. The day when America could be the welfare system for Mexico is gone. We simply can't afford it. And I think you've seen the figures to state and local governments of what the cost is. It's over $2 billion in California alone. Not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. We simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully. It's, it's a competition for space. Whether the space is a job, the space is a home, a place in a classroom, it becomes a competition for space. Avoidable. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration, which the American people overwhelmingly oppose. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong. This is a country that's based on immigration, and we all know that. And yet, at times, you become so overtaxed, you have to concentrate on saying, the people who should be here are those who come legally at this time. And we've got to, for the time being, enforce our borders. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. Never before, never before in our history has one party threatened a government shutdown if they don't get 100% of what they want on an issue totally unrelated to the budget. 